dears this is raji being a class 10 student we need to learn about a concept functional groups in organic chemistry it appears to be a very difficult concept for some students but we are going to learn that in an easy way in order to understand iupac nomenclature of functional group you have to learn the naming of hydrocarbon from the very beginning we have discussed everything from part 3 of organic chemistry so if you haven't watched that you can just go through that to understand this concept better so in this video we will be discussing what are functional groups and at the same time the nomenclature of alcohols also so before learning what are functional groups can you tell me have you heard about alexander the great of course, he was a king of ancient Greek, right? And he was a great conqueror. And he used to attack a particular kingdom. He used to defeat that king. And he would take control of that particular kingdom later. Once that kingdom is under his control, he would only decide the name of that kingdom. He can change the rules of that country. Okay, and at the same time, the tax systems, everything he can change. Now, the question is that what this Alexander the Great is doing in organic chemistry? <laughs> okay, yeah. So, I will say functional groups are similar to that of Alexander the Great. Why? Imagine the hydrocarbon methane. Okay, methane has got one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms in that. We know that. And it was happily staying like that. By that time only, who is coming and attacking methane? OH group is coming. Okay, yeah. It is coming and attacking this hydrogen, right? And replacing this hydrogen, OH group is coming and sitting there. Now, how the compound will look like? Yeah, it will be like this. Okay, yeah. What is the name of this compound? We will never call it as a hydrocarbon. Instead of that, we will call it as an alcohol. Got it? Its name is changing. Its chemical properties are also changing. And it depends upon the groups which are coming and attacking to that carbon atom clear no okay yeah so what are functional groups yeah these are atoms or group of atoms that will make the carbon compound reactive and decides the properties are called functional group any group other than carbon and hydrogen okay is present in that hydrocarbon compound we call it as a functional group it may be a halo group it may be alcohol aldehyde ketone or carboxylic acid even a double bond or triple bond is also considered as a functional group clear no so functional groups are just like alexander the great okay now we are going to learn the nomenclature of simple alcohol okay yeah in order to understand yeah again we have taken methane whenever an oh group is coming and attaching to that carbon atom yeah we will identify that functional group as alcohol and if an oh group is present in that compound passionately we will call it as all all like that <laughs> okay that should be the suffix used correct no okay yeah so earlier it was methane right no yeah now what we are doing we are rubbing that e and attaching this all yeah so what is the name of this compound that is methanol got it now how to name these compounds it earlier it was methane okay yeah now what has happened it has become alcohol okay yeah so we are rubbing that e and attaching the suffix all methanol what about this one yeah this is a uh, two carbon compound okay yeah so what what is that here earlier it was ethane we are rubbing that e and attaching all ethanol got it yeah now see this one yeah three carbon atoms are there okay yeah we are giving more priority to the functional group attached carbon atom one two three okay yeah now see what will be the name of this compound it was propane earlier now we are rubbing that e and attaching all propanol okay yeah and what about this one this one is a four carbon hydrocarbon right it was butane okay now what has happened to that it has become butanol in your book sometimes you can see that butan one all they will write in that yeah what we are telling yeah it is a four carbon hydrocarbon chain to that yeah an oh group is attached where it is attached it is attached to the first carbon atom so if you are telling butanol also butan one all also both are correct got it 
Now, how to name this compound? Yeah, in this substituent is also present, functional group is also present. If so, we will be giving more importance for the functional group. Why? Because that is considered as the most reactive part of the carbon chain. Yeah, so how the numbering should be done? We will find out the longest carbon chain first. Okay, yeah, the numbering should be done from right. We should tell the substituent first. Okay, yeah. So that is 3 methyl. Okay, yeah. Then which is a root word? Root word is uh, but only. Okay, yeah. It was earlier a butane. Now we are rubbing that E and attaching what? Okay, all. And to which carbon atom it is attached? To the first carbon atom. Butan 1 all. Got it now? That will be the name of the compound. E C 3 methyl butan 1 all. Okay. Now, see the next one. Here, uh, substituent is present. OH group is also present. Functional group is also present. The functional group attached carbon atom should be given more priority and least number. Okay. This is the longest carbon chain. How the numbering should be done? It should be done from right. Okay. Yeah. Then only this carbon atom will be getting the number 2. Okay. Yeah. 3, 4. So, substituent should be told first as a prefix. What is the name of the compound? 3 methyl we will write. Okay, yeah. Then, which is a root word? Root word is uh, 4 only. But. Okay, yeah. It was a butane earlier. Now, we are rubbing that E and attaching all. Where all is present, the functional group is attached to the second carbon atom. Okay, yeah. We are telling that it is butane 2 all. E, C, no. Okay, yeah. Now, see this one. Yeah, look at this one here. Yeah, see. So many substituents are present. Ethyl group is present. Methyl group is present. And at the same time, functional group is also present. Okay, yeah. So, first we will have to go for the longest carbon chain. Okay, yeah. This is the longest carbon chain and OH group is attached to this carbon atom, right? Yeah, that should be given number 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Yeah, now tell me, yeah, which is this substituent? This one is a methyl group. Okay, yeah, and which is this substituent? This one is ethyl. Which one will be coming first in the dictionary? ethyl group only correct no okay yeah so that should be told first whenever more than one substituents are present yeah we learned that already okay it should be given uh, in the alphabetical order okay yeah so first what we need to write we will write 2 ethyl okay yeah it is not complete again we will put a dash and we are telling that methyl groups are attached to carbon 4 that also 2 2 methyl groups are attached so what will be the prefix 4 comma 4 dimethyl agreed okay yeah now you should tell the root word which is a root word pent okay it was a pentane now what happened yeah now alcohol has come and attached to that okay yeah we are rubbing that e and attaching all where we need to attach to the first carbon atom pentane one all easy now see this compound OH group is also present, double bond is also present. We said that, yeah, both OH group also, double bond and triple bond also is considered as a functional group. Then what to do? How to name this compound? Yeah, to be remembered is that, yeah, OH group should be given more priority than double bond also, triple bond also. Got it? Okay, yeah. So, how the numbering should be done? We will have to find out the longest carbon chain and the OH group attached carbon atom. This carbon atom should be given more priority or least number. Okay, I numbered like this. There is no substituent. So, there is no prefix also. You can just start with the root word. What is the root word? That is but. Correct? Yeah. And you should tell the name of double bond first. Okay. Yeah. Then only, yeah, that uh, name of the OH group. Right? No. Or the name of the compound should be end with alcohol or all. Got it? So, you are telling that, yeah, the double bond is attached to the second carbon atom. Right? No. When we are numbering from here, okay, this bond belong to this carbon atom. This bond belong to this carbon atom. So, you are telling that, the molecule is actually but to in but we are rubbing that last e and attaching which one all and all is present on which carbon atom this carbon atom got it no in one all what's the name of the compound butenol e c okay yeah now see the next one so that the idea will become much more clear okay yeah see 
ट्रिपल बॉन्ड इज सर या फंक्शनल ग्रुप ओ हेच इज सर एंड एट द सेम टाइम सब्सिट्यूएंट इज ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट ओके या सो वी विल हैव टू गिव मोर प्रायोरिटी टू दी ओ हेच ग्रुप अटैच कार्बन आइटम गॉट इट नो एंड फ्रॉम दर वी विल हैव टू फाइंड आउट द लॉन्गेस्ट कार्बन चेन ऑल्सो ओके द नंबरिंग शुड बी डन इन सच ए वे दैट द ओ हेच अटैच कार्बन आइटम शुड बी गिवन मोर प्रायोरिटी ओके दिस इज द करेक्ट नंबरिंग राइट नो now we should tell the name of the mm, substituent first which is a substituent for methyl okay yeah then which is a root word five carbon atoms are there right no so that is pent okay yeah first triple bond should be told then only you can tell yeah about alcohol right no so pent where this triple bond is attached yeah if we are numbering from here this bond belongs to this carbon this triple bond belong to carbon 2 right so pent 2 in we will write okay yeah but y n e we will not write okay we are rubbing that e and attaching all where all is present to the first carbon atom y n 1 all okay yeah so this is the name of the compound got it no 4 methyl pentyenol now what's the name of this compound oh group is present double bond is present yeah substituent is also present okay yeah so the numbering should be done in such a way that the oh group attached carbon atom should be getting more priority or least number now question is that is it possible to number like this wrong okay yeah including the oh group attached carbon atom you will have to find out the longest carbon chain got it so which is a correct way of numbering like this 1 2 3 4 5 5 and 6 okay yeah six carbon atoms are there in the longest carbon chain okay then what we need to say substituent is attached to carbon 5 so that should be told first okay what's the name 5 chloro we will say okay yeah which is a root word that is hex and then we need to speak about the double bond and finally we will have to speak about uh, oh group name of the compound should be ending with all okay then only it will become correct hex okay yeah see we said that if you are numbering from here this bond belong to this carbon atom okay yeah and the double bond belong to carbon 3 got it so hex 3 in in e and e completely we are not writing we are rubbing that e and attaching all where all is present which in turn is attached to carbon 2 okay yeah so that is 2 all this is the name of the compound 5 chloro hex 3 enol e c now see this compound yeah this is a homework for you you can take a screenshot of this one and you can try this question by yourself and tell me the answer see to be remembered is that oh group is attached to yeah this carbon atom so that carbon atom should be given more priority and least number including that carbon atom you will have to find out the longest carbon chain okay yeah we have done so many examples related to the nomenclature of alcohol you might have become an expert by this time okay yeah so whenever you are learning organic chemistry right and done okay that will make your memory more perfect okay yeah. so thanks for watching see you in the next video